What's up, everybody? Welcome to Hip Hop and Fashion. I'm your host, Mr. Wayne, and this is your, I guess you're a host, I guess. I don't know. I don't know. You want me to be a host, co-host, whatever, you know, I, I you got ch- you. You charging? Huh? Are you charging? Um, we're going to talk about that after the Well, after depending the- on if it's free, she my co-host, Miss Tyra B. How you doing today? I'm good. I'm good. Um, yeah. You know, been busy, been working. I know. Doing some things. I know, like... Yeah, yeah, a long time no see. So what's been up with you? You been all right? Oh, yeah, I can't complain. God is good. Oh, God yeah, is good. God is very, God very, 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 very good. That is a God. That is a God. Most definitely, yeah. most definitely. So what's been going on with you? Well, you know, I've been um, doing the TV stuff. I just did a um, a show called Claws with Niecy Nash and, and Harold Perrineau. Mm-hmm. It's coming out. As a matter of fact, it airs. It premieres June 11th okay. on um, TNT. Okay. Yeah, so check that out. Um, I'm going to be in, uh, I think it's the first episode. So it's a it's a very interesting role. Okay. You know. You're not cracking it again, are you? Not in there. Not in the play. It, Wayne is not letting that die, I y'all. All right. In, yeah, in the play, I did a stage play with uh, Lucky Johnson. Shout out to Lucky Johnson. Mm-hmm. And I played um, Shannon. I was the neighborhood crackhead in the play. And yeah, Wayne just will not let that <laughs> die. So mm. obviously, I, I must have did a great job. You did, you did, you did. Yeah, but in the end, I transformed. Got, Remember got when I came out, the um, I had the hair all over my head. I was wilding out. Mm-hmm. But in the end, I got help. Got transformed. <laughs> she just, yeah, she, she got like, hold up. I wasn't a crackhead. Right. My whole not not in the whole role. play, but it was um, it was a challenging role for and, you. Um, yeah, yeah. I mean, it was it you was, convinced it was me too. I'm like, yeah, Ooh. that was the whole the whole yeah. point of it. And uh, and so and so now I, I know you can't give too much away about this role that you're mm-hmm. playing. Now we just gonna have to watch and see. Yeah, y'all tune in um, June 11th on TNT. Uh-huh. Yeah, I think it comes on for eight or nine, but I'll, I'll keep you posted. Okay, yeah, I'll be back that. before then. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'll be yeah. back before then. And um. And I, I also saw that you were doing some behind the scenes stuff also. Oh yeah, I'm um into the writing, producing, directing, getting it all done. The camera work, see all these cameras over here? Uh-huh. I can work every last one of those. You're, so, like, you're like a Jamaican, huh? Yeah, I can, um, you know, that's that's my passion. Like, really I behind like behind the scenes? Yeah, I like being in front, you know, but behind the scenes is like, it's kind of magical to me how mm-hmm. everything comes together and you know, you, you put a project together and you watch it all unfold. Uh-huh, uh-huh. That, but you know, I take in front or behind. I, wherever the check is at, I'm, I'm there. <laughs> wherever the check is. Yeah. And and so, in terms of, you said, well, you already said that's your passion behind the scenes. Right. But what do you, how should I say it, which one takes more preparation for you in terms of, of, of the work in, in, in a project? Like, is oh, it getting yeah. into character or the behind the scenes um, stuff? Definitely behind the scenes is, is more preparation. Okay. Um, what in front of the scenes with the acting gigs, you just learn your role and you, you you memorize the script, you get into the character, and you you just go for it. You okay. know, you can stop, pause, but well, you cut. Like if that's the difference too between um, a stage play and TV. With, with a live stage play, is no room. For stop, do it again. You have to be prepared. Even if you mess up, the the audience won't know mm-hmm. that you mess up, but the cast will know. So you have to be prepared to just keep going, keep going, keep going, and don't let you know the the, the phrase "never let them see you sweat." Uh-huh. You, you can't do that in live TV, on live, um, on stage. But with the um, with TV and movies, you know, you take several different. Scenes you cut, uh, you do it over and over from different ways, and that's the, you know, to answer your question, it takes more preparation behind the scenes because you gotta shoot it, you gotta edit it. That's like, look, shout out to all the editors out there because oh, yeah. that's like the hardest. It's not hard, but it's a lot of work that goes into editing. Like, I heard you gotta have a passion to edit. You definitely do. Um, uh-huh. I know how to edit, but. Um, I don't think that that would be the the field that I choose. That you're going yeah, to. Yeah, but I I can do it, mm-hmm. but um, it's very hard. It, it takes a lot of time and preparation. Just think, you got to take 
like a movie that you may shoot for four or five months. It has mm-hmm. to be cut down to two hours. Right, right. And that's right. like a lot of, a lot of work. And, and, and how, like, have you ever done comedy? Well, <laughs> been, been, been in, well, I mean, a Yeah, I'm going to tell you a joke at the end of the, uh, when the cameras are off. I am not a comedian. No, because I'm a little funny, though, but. I yeah. want to, like, how do you, like, Say when you when you up there and you 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 because in a minute you're gonna be doing movies with Kevin Hart. How like when how do you keep from laughing at funny people? Like when you you ever been in that position where oh, you oh definitely how do you yeah, not laugh? You have, because you have to stay professional at all times. But if it's funny, how you not? I'm, well, I'll tell you for for me, I laugh at the end when the cameras are cut because on set even um on a set of claws we laugh like a whole lot mm-hmm. we, did, we did a whole lot of laughing but it wasn't um, while the cameras were rolling okay so if you do laugh I mean they just gotta start it over yeah huh? you just gotta cut and start it over but yeah we, we did a lot of laughing on that set because the scene is like hilarious uh-huh. it's a funeral scene oh okay but you got you gonna have strippers there you gonna what have the? all oh, kinds oh lord yeah, my so kind it's, of funeral it's so funny but um yeah, you just got to be professional. Keep it professional yeah. at all times. Okay, okay, okay. Well, that's cool. Look, we're going to take a little quick break, and we're going to have a video by Tanya Boyd Cannon. My homegirl ain't been here in about 80 years, but it's cool. I still show her videos. So. Oh, yeah, she's awesome. Shout yeah. out to you, Tanya yeah. Boyd Cannon. Yeah, yeah she's, she's just awesome. doing her thing. So when you're doing it, you just know how to keep yourself from not laughing. Yeah, I mean, it, like I said, you have to be professional. Um it's hard, but you gotta. You, you just gotta do it. You just gotta. You know, do you it. just gotta do it. Definitely. And what a, in the near future are you preparing for? Something that you can talk about? Mm-hmm. Are you sag now? Huh? Oh, of course. Oh, um, she doing it in the near future. Um, I'm actually gonna be doing some. But well, I'm actually writing right now, and I'm gonna be producing some stuff. Okay. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Okay. And directing some stuff. So you know, you gotta have the whole package, the mm-hmm. all around package. And what's the and when music? What well, well, what's the role of a producer in movies? In a movie, well, I produce, I'll, I'll play. Uh, you know, well, the director kind of calls the shots. You know, the, the director it like cues everybody and tell them do it this way, do it that way. The producer pretty much makes sure everybody is doing what they're supposed to do. You know, so, so okay, yeah, so. Basically, the producer hires the director to carry out mm-hmm. the vision, or it could be a collaborative. It could be either way. Uh, it could be, yeah, it's a collaborative effort. Um, mm-hmm. But either way, but it, they both work hand in hand. You okay. have to to make it successful. And the executive producer is the one with the checkbook. Oh, yeah, the executive. That's the one who writing the checks out. Yeah, yeah so. you need how much? 100000 Yeah, no problem. No problem. Yeah, that's that's the executive producer. They're actually like funding everything, okay. writing the, uh, the checks out. Uh-huh. Yeah. And, and and have you done a, a project where you directed and then produced and at the same? Oh, that's just too much to no, do. No, I, I have. Um, right. I have. Um, I directed and produced. Um, it, it was something for for school, but I, I did it. Still, and, um, that's that's a lot. Yeah, huh? and it, it is a, a whole lot um, to get the cast together to make sure. I actually shot it, wrote it, directed it, edited it. And, um, I'm stingy, you don't want to pay nobody for nothing, huh? <laughs> well, you got to pay the cash, but you know. <laughs> I'm just playing. You know, I ain't Haley Berry yet. I got to try to keep right, the budget right, tight. Right, but, um, right. but yeah, it's it's um, it's a lot of work. It's challenging, but like I said, I like the behind the scenes. Uh-huh. I like to see the whole project come together and, and unfold.